Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So today there's a lot of stuff going on in Chicago. And you guys know personally, I don't even like to talk about topics like this, but I wanted to address it really quickly. So there's huge protests going on right now on Michigan Avenue. People are demanding that Ron Emanuel, who is the mayor of Chicago, um, be fired, you know, be removed from his post. It's been just a lot of craziness. And just the other day, um, Officer Gary McCarthy, who's one of the top cops in Chicago, he's the one who helped solve the Tyshawn Lee murder. So we've seen him all over the television recently. And he was just fired the other day. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this quick news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. He has become an issue rather than dealing with the issue and a distraction. In response to the fury over the city's handling of the shooting death of teenager Laquan McDonald by a police officer, Mayor Rahm Emanuel announced today that he'd ask for the resignation of police superintendent Gary McCarthy. I have a lot of loyalty to what he's done and him, but I have a bigger loyalty to the city of Chicago, its future, and the strength of that future. And no one person trumps my commitment and my responsibility to the city of Chicago and its future. Dashcam video of the 2014 incident in which McDonald was shot 16 times by police officer Jason Van Dyke inspired protests and, and calls for reform in a city struggling to curb gun violence. Officer Jason Van Dyke was charged with first degree murder before the video was made public. Monday night, Van Dyke walked out of the jail released on bond the same day McCarthy appeared on local television to defend his handling of the case, saying it was being handled by another investigative body. It's a very high charge political uh, atmosphere that we're living in right now. I couldn't fire him. I couldn't put him in a no pay status. I couldn't discipline him. Uh, that's the law. It was not the Chicago Police Department investigating this incident. Chicago police also face intense scrutiny regarding their handling of the case and evidence. The manager of a Burger King near the scene accuses police of erasing 86 minutes of video from a surveillance camera that captured video prior to McDonald's shooting. The surveillance video was ultimately seized by the FBI and a Chicago state official says that after reviewing the video, it did not appear that any material had been deleted. Outrage over the shooting has grown steadily since the video was released last week. Monday, a 21-year-old man was arrested and accused of threatening to kill students and staff at the University of Chicago, reportedly in an attempt to avenge McDonald's death. As part of a plan to restore the public's faith, Mayor Emanuel also detailed a new task force on law enforcement accountability that will review how the city trains and oversees its police officers. So you guys just watched the news clip. So as you guys see, he was recently fired. And I believe that Rahm Emanuel threw him under the bus, fired him thinking that it would appease people and that folks would move on. But Black Lives Matter and these protesters are not moving on. They're upset. And now they're calling for Rahm Emanuel to be removed from being the mayor of Chicago as well. I want you guys to go ahead and check out all this live footage that I've collected on social media and that people have been sending to me. Check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. 16 shots! 16 shots! 16 shots! 16 shots! 16 shots! 16 shots! We're seeing sort of a scuffle break out on the streets of Chicago. Rosa Flores is there, Rosa. Hi, Poppy. Well, uh, we are just feet away from where the scuffle is. We're bringing you these live pictures. This is a confrontation between some of the Chicago protesters and Chicago police. Now, what police are doing right here, they're holding uh, protesters uh, beyond uh, Michigan Avenue. So they're pretty much uh, holding traffic uh, to make sure that these protesters don't go, don't go on to uh, one of the major avenues here in downtown Chicago. And so... You know, we, we've seen this before in some of the other protests that have happened uh, where protesters get up close to, to police. And so far, you know, there's been uh, uh, in, in the past, in the past few weeks, uh, a few a few a few protesters get arrested uh, because of this now now there are a few a few protesters here who maybe can give us their their account as we're seeing these pictures of some of the protesters being stopped by police you have you protested in, in, in before so the whole time we're watching around the city of Chicago peaceful protest that's the way it's supposed to be but they cut off our our, our march 
So they're the one that actually creating the confrontation by cutting us off. If they allow us to peacefully protest, how we've been doing the last two hours, this confrontation doesn't happen. Thank you, sir. Now, there, that's one account of one of the protesters, what they're saying, because they have been walking down the, the streets of Chicago peacefully, demonstrating, asking for the things that you've heard before, the resignation of uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel. They also want the, the Cook County State's attorney uh, to, to also um, step down. But right now, it looks like the situation just calmed down, Poppy. The police still holding protesters from moving into Michigan Avenue. Peaceful protest. This is a peaceful protest. This is a peaceful protest. Hey, Chicago, show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Shut the whole block off. Shut the whole block off. Shut the whole block off. If we don't get out, shut it down. 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 Leave it for me, Leo. So you guys just saw all the live feeds of what's going on on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. I mean, this whole situation is just really disturbing. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. It's going to be interesting to see if Ron Emanuel ends up getting removed. Chicago has been corrupt from day one. You know, Chicago has one of the most corrupt political scenes. As we all know, Jesse Jackson Jr.'s son went to prison. I think he just recently got out. You know, he was like stealing money and stealing funds. And him and his wife were, you know, living lavishly off of the people of Chicago. Now, my thing is this. A lot of people drop the ball with this case. This whole Lee Kwan McDaniel situation is very, very disturbing. It's very disturbing when you see a 17-year-old kid get executed, get shot 16 times, you know, when he's actually running from the police. Granted, they did find a knife on him, but even with that knife being on him, he didn't lunge at the police. He didn't do anything threatening. And this is why I say it's to the point now where you know, the, the police officers to be just seem tired. It's not like in the movies. It's not like on television where they'll chase you. I remember watching Bad Boys growing up. You know, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? These police officers, they don't run no more. They're not chasing you. They're not running behind you. They're just rather just shoot and kill you than be bothered. You know, so a lot of people were corrupt in this case. The police officers knew about this. Um, McCarthy said that he watched this video the day after the shooting. And yet and still, it took them over a year to even want 
trying to press charges. But a lot of people are not speaking up about Lee Kwan McDaniel's family. I've noticed a lot of black folks are mad at the police. A lot of black people are talking about the police, but nobody's talking about the family who took hush money who prefer to take blood money of their child than to look for justice. And this is not a family that raised this boy. You know, this boy was high on PCP. Um, he led a criminal life because his family dropped the ball. Lequan McDaniel, if you guys have actually did research on this kid, was in and out of foster homes. His mother's boyfriend sexually abused him. He was in and out of foster homes. Um, he's been through a lot. You know, he had all types of cigarette burns on him. He was beaten. He was abused. And these same family members, the same ones who didn't care anything about this kid, who allowed him to be sexually abused and physically abused and everything else, it mean that they wanted the money and legally they weren't entitled to that money because legally what they didn't raise Lee Kwan the system did so in order to keep the family quiet in order to brush this cover up under the rug they decide to give this family five million dollars okay as hush money this is why the family was so upset and that they didn't want the video released it would show them to be money grubbing idiots who decided that their son's death was worth it as long as they were compensated five million dollars okay this is the same family that chose to be upset rather than to show support to the people that were protesting Black Friday. For me, I have to look at the entire puzzle and I find it bullshit that a mother and that a family that did not raise this young man is not benefiting off of this young man's death. You feel me? So if we're gonna get mad at Rahm Emanuel and the police department and everything else, we need to realize that this corruption goes deeper. And you have a lot of people who have no morals, they have no convictions, and they have no qualms taking blood money, taking hush money, and everything else. The corruption persists because the people are cool with it. The families of the victim are cool with it. And this is why the corruption is continuously persisting. It's gonna be really interesting to see how all this plays out. You know, should Rahm Emanuel lose his job? He was part of the corruption. I don't see why not. Why is his job any more safer than Gary McCarthy? He had no problem firing Gary McCarthy for his corruption, but it's also shown that Rahm Emanuel was complacent in the corruption as well. And to me, also Laquan McDaniel's family was also complacent in the corruption. I think to me, they should have to pay that money back. I don't think that money should go to them at all. What did they do for them to deserve $5 million? You have schools closing every day. You have these kids who are joining gangs. They have nothing else better to do. That $5 million could have been used to help the south side of Chicago but instead this family was willing to take hush money and the city was willing to pay out hush money for this corruption that happened last summer so anyways go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire situation um do you feel like Ram Emanuel will be fired do you feel like the protest down there in Chicago is going to work and then how do you feel about the protest in general and then how do you feel about Lee Kwan McDaniel's family not having any problems taking five million dollars worth of blood money so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.